All right, so next part is three students are lighter than two teachers. Now, most of you might think that this is simply 3s less than 2t, and then you simply 3s minus 2t less than 0, and then you calculate the variance and the mean by 3 times the vari three times the mean minus 2 times the uh, three times the mean of students minus two times the mean, uh, mean of teachers and for variance nine times the variance of students minus four times the uh, plus four times the variance of teachers but this in fact is wrong because over here 3s uh, minus 2t means that thrice the weight or the mass of one particular student minus twice the weight or mass of one particular teacher what the question is saying is three students these are three different students are lighter than two teachers so what I need to do here is the first three different students so s1 s2 plus s3 three different students are lighter than two different teachers so t1 plus t2 so my random variable let's call it w will be s1 plus s2 plus s3 minus t1 plus t2 right say if I have to find the mean of w this will be 41 plus 41 plus 41 minus 60 and 60 right so the mean turns out to be 123 minus 120 3 let's talk about the variance now you see the coefficient for each variable is 1 so simply this will be 9 plus 9 plus 9 for the students and plus 16 plus 16 for the teachers so this will be equals to 59 so w follows a normal with mean 3 and variance 59 now you have to find the probability of w less than 0. So this is how you do a, uh, a question where it, say, where it talks about um, independent items. Here are three students are independent. The, it's not just one student whose weight is being multiplied th by, uh, by three. These are three different students and two different teachers. In that case, uh, you have to be alert on how to do a question of this kind. Now the last part for this particular question is um, the difference of masses of two teachers is less than eight. So we are, uh, so we have two teachers, and the difference uh, needs to be less than eight. So here's the thing: the difference could be, let's say, t1 minus t2 is eight, right? Or t2 minus t1 could also be less than eight. Yeah, less than eight. Yeah. So the difference needs to be eight, right? So we do not know which teacher is heavier, which uh, or which teacher weighs less. So this will be modulus of t1 minus t2 less than eight because uh, the difference needs to be a positive eight, and we don't know uh, which teacher is heavier. Teacher one could be heavier. Teacher two could be heavier. Um, either way, uh, t, so we make this t1 minus t2 uh, less than 8, so the modulus makes the, uh, the, the difference positive. So, and now all we have to do is the same stuff, w equals to t1 minus t2, the mean of w will be 60 minus 60 is 0, the variance of w will be 16 plus 16 that's 32 so w follows a normal with mean 0 and variance 32 and now what do we require we require 
t1 minus t2 in a modulus less than 8. So we require probability of modulus of w less than 8. So the modulus less than 8, if we go back to our topic of algebra that we do in P3, this will become minus 8 to 8. Right, so this is the probability that you need to calculate. Now, just in case, uh, if this was probability of W in a modulus greater than 8, this would have been probability of W less than minus 8 plus the probability of W greater than 8. So that's a different case. If uh, it was modulus of w greater than 8, in that case, it would have been w less than minus 8 and w greater than 8. The range is broken down into two. Um, but, uh, but this one was uh, modulus of w less than 8. So uh, we have to calculate the probability from minus 8 to 8. All right, so the last part of this topic is a linear combination of a Poisson random variable, a variable that follows a Poisson distribution. So I have two variables over here. X follows a Poisson uh, with lambda equals to 2 and Y follows a Poisson with lam lambda equals to 3. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, so my mean for X will be lambda, that is 2. And if I have to calculate the variance, the variance of the Poisson distribution is also lambda. So this would have been 2. My mean for y will be simply 3. My variance for y will also be 3. Now let's say I have a random variable w equals to x plus y. Now if I have to find the mean of w, mean of y, x that is 2 mean of y that is 3 equals to 5. Say if I have to find the variance of w, uh, variance of x 2, variance of y 3 equals to 5. So since the mean and variance are both equal, I can safely say that w follows a Poisson distribution with mean with lambda equals to 5. Now here's the thing. You can only combine two Poisson variables if the coefficients are 1. The coefficient over here for x is 1 and for y is also 1. Then only your final variable that is w over here will also follow a Poisson distribution which you can further use to calculate probabilities of qu in questions. But say if something if you had something like um, let's say w equals to 2x plus 3y. So the mean of w over here would have been 2 times of x, that is 4, plus 3 times of y, that's 9, equals to 13. Right? And if I have to find the variance of y, of, sorry, of w, this would have been uh, 4 times of variance of x, that is uh, 8, plus 9 times the variance of uh, y, that is 3, so this would have been 27, and this would have resulted in a variance of 35. So, so you see, uh, w over here cannot follow up a on distribution simply because um, the mean and the variance are not equal. So, for your f f uh -huh. so for to to combine two po uh, yeah so to combine two Poisson variables, the coefficients of both need to be one, right? And then you can just do use it to calculate probabilities uh, or to solve questions. All right, that's it for this entire topic. And